classification of fatty acids according to the biological value that means which are significant to us health wise okay essential fatty acids by definition okay these are the fatty acids which cannot be synthesized by the body but they are supposed to be supplied through diet okay and these as uh, these fatty acids known as essential fatty acids okay all the polyunsaturated fatty acids okay are essential fatty acids example what i can say linoleic and linolenic why not arachidonic okay if you are having linoleic acid obviously you are going to make arachidonic acid so that's why compared to linoleic linolenic arachidonic acid is less essential okay and mammals can synthesize saturated fatty acids okay and monounsaturated fatty acids but they are unable to synthesize fatty acids containing more than one double bond that means saturated fatty acids are easy that's what animal uh, lipids all are saturated fatty acids okay but for health we do require unsaturated uh, fatty acids such as polyunsaturated fatty acids okay so which are present in mainly in vegetable oils okay all animal oils do contain saturated fatty acid and limited to monounsaturated fatty acids okay and arachidonic acid is synthesized in the body from linoleic acid as i mentioned in the previous slide okay it is a non essential fatty acid okay and uh, it is also found in animal uh, fats and peanut oil and arachidonic acid becomes essential if its precursor linoleic acid is missing in the diet okay if your diet is not having linoleic then only arachidonic acid is going to be essential next coming to the functions of essential fatty acids for what purpose we require essential fatty acids okay so most of the structural elements of tissues require fatty essential fatty acids okay for their formation okay especially pufa polyunsaturated fatty acids in short they are known as or they are popular as pufa polyunsaturated fatty acids okay you can remember you can uh, memorize it with puma okay puma and pufa okay so puma is a brand for the footwear and the cloth, i mean game and gaming uh, clothing accessories game and cloth game clothing accessories pufa here is for the essential fatty acid okay so pufa occurs in high concentrations in lipids associated with structural elements of tissues okay so what are that structural elements of gonads lipids of gonads which contain high concentration of pufa which suggests importance of these compounds in reproductive function okay such as testosterone okay estrogen progesterone so all these hormones like what for they they are for reproductive function okay and synthesis of prostaglandins so prostaglandins are the markers of inflammation okay whenever you get fever so that time prostaglandins uh, like uh, pain causing substances which indicates the uh, presence of inflammation at particular site in the body so otherwise structural elements of mitochondrial membrane so deficiency of essential fatty acids causes swelling of mitochondrial membrane and uh, reduction in efficiency of oxidative phosphorylation why this reduction in efficiency of oxidative phosphorylation what for oxidative phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation is very very important for production of atp okay and this process taking place in mitochondria if there is no prominent well healthy uh, mitochondrial membrane okay the pathways which are happening in the mitochondria will be disturbed so one such pathway is oxidative phosphorylation where atp is produced okay so your atp produ uh, production will be altered in case of deficiency of essential fatty acids okay and serum level of cholesterol okay fats with high content of pufa tends to lower serum level of cholesterol okay that means if your circulation is having high levels of polyunsaturated fatty acids they efficiently transport cholesterol uh, to liver okay so like that they can reduce the uh, serum cholesterol level okay and effective uh, clotting time okay prolongation of clotting time is noted in ingestion of fats rich in essential fatty acids okay and role of essential fatty acids in fatty liver okay so if your diet is lack of uh, essential fatty acids okay there is production of more amount of glycerol in the liver and it start accumulating in the liver cells and causing fatty liver so if your diet is in high rich of uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids or essential fatty acids so it uh, prevents the problem fatty liver so role in vision so docosahexaenoic acid is must abundant polyenoic fatty acid which is present in retinol phosphoreceptor membranes okay 
this decosa hexenoic acid okay which is a uh, major role in uh, visual cycle okay that means retinol phosphoreceptor membranes okay so that plays crucial role in vision okay and this is formed by linoleic acid okay linolenic acid without linolenic acid there is no dexaenoic hexenoic acid then there will be impaired vision okay it enhances the electrical response of photoreceptors for the illumination okay hence linoleic acid is necessary for optimal vision so what are the consequences if your diet deficient of essential fatty acids okay if your diet are deficient of essential fatty acids okay it results to phrenoderma nothing but like a hardening of the skin or toad skin you can say rough skin toad skin okay these essential fatty acids required for smoothening of the uh, epithelium of the derma okay and uh, this deficiency causing okay deficiency of essential fatty acid causing phrenoderma and presence of uh, horny eruptions on the posterior and lateral parts of the limbs and the back and buttocks loss of hair and poor wound healing also one of the consequences okay and non essential fatty acids uh, they can be synthesized in mammals okay and uh, that's why they don't have essential value if you are not taking the diet also no issues as uh, we are going to synthesize in our body okay and uh, these uh, include mono unsaturated fatty acids so that's all about uh, non essential fatty acids so coming to the branched fatty acids phytonic acid okay so here you see the number 3715 tetramethyl palmitic acid that means what is that branch that means at the carbon 3 at the carbon uh, at the carbon 3 at the carbon 7 at the carbon 11 at the carbon 15 okay there is addition of methyl group so that's why tetra how many methyl groups are there four methyl groups are there so that's why tetra methyl palmitic acid okay so it is present in milk lipids and in animal fat animal fat phytonic acid so branched we have seen and cyclic fatty acids that means cyclic fatty acids like uh, there is a addition of other substances like sulfur groups to this hydrocarbon side chain of fatty acid okay and making a, or giving a cyclic form to the fatty acid okay so you see here in this structure there is addition of sulfur groups to the hydrocarbon side chain of a fatty acid lipoic acid so what do you say is lipoic acid lipoic acid is a hydrogen carrier and coenzyme in oxidative decarboxylation of alpha keto acid okay that means pyruvate and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex okay lipoic acid one of the coenzyme required for the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex okay which is lipid in nature okay and it serves as a carrier of hydrogen okay carrier of uh, hydrogen and mainly it uh, required in a process called oxidative decarboxylation okay not only here pyruvate dehydrogen is also required lipoic acid here i have mentioned only one okay alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex it required by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex as well so coming to the eicosanoids so eicosanoids so they are more complicated structure wise so what are the substances come under eicosanoids prostaglandins are there thromboxanes are there and leukotrienes are there so all these three categories come under eicosanoids so when you go through the structural aspects okay they are all made up of 20 in number of carbons okay 20 carbons required forming of these eicosanoids okay they are all derived from arachidonic acid so what you can say eicosanoids literally coming from arachidonic acid okay and they include prostaglandins thromboxanes and leukotrienes prostaglandins they have other classes again okay ranging from a to h alphabets okay a e f which are the major type of prostaglandins in humans okay 